municipal purposes in a city of 8 million people. Uh, the counties of Nassau and Suffolk uh, have um, requested this as well, and frequently the state is in the position of authorizing localities, and in this instance it was determined that it was a reasonable request from the locality. If I had my way, I would put um, the uh, uh, some of the uh, cameras in Nassau and Suffolk on the Southern State Highway, uh, and I think they'd get more money if it was just about getting money. So they're doing it in, in school zones, uh, uh -huh. and the money is split between whether it's a county or a village. And this is done, as we so often do things, we're authorizing. We're not requiring, we're authorizing, and we are responding to a request from locality. Right, but we authorized 20 last year in order that a study be done. There's been no movement on that study whatsoever. Well, actually, they have some details, okay. of what, uh, but it's a small sample, and it's a short period of time, and inexplicably, people speed on Thursdays, and not so much on um, Wednesday. Uh, but um, inexplicably, to me, um, somebody suggested Thursday they're all trying to get out of town. Um, but uh, the um, it is a uh, the um, Nassau and Suffolk did in fact have uh, a rather startling number of um, police reported crashes. And so I think demonstrating that to the state, that they had a very high number and that they wanted this authority, uh, it seemed reasonable to grant it. And that's a, still a very small number. 56 cameras and 69 cameras is a very small number considering the fact that they're over uh, between the two counties. Um, that's like one in each school district. But 56 and would you say 56 and 69? 56 in South in Nassau and 69 in Suffolk. And 150 in New York City. Uh, well, it's 160. 140. Total, I'm sorry, 160. It's total. an expansion. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, yes. Yeah. Now you would, I would think, is, is there any warning? You know, for example, when you hit a construction zone, sometimes it says your speed is. Is there any kind of signal to the driver that they are about to be photographed? No, there isn't a warning that says speed camera ahead, slow down. There isn't any of that. But there are, uh, in most instances, markers that a school is coming up. So what does that mean? Well, those exist. Excuse Pardon. me, Ms. Glick. Hold on one minute. Members, welcome back to the New York State Assembly. We're happy to have you back. I know you're happy to be back, and I'm sure you're all glad to see each other. However, we'll have to save the greetings for another time. I'd like to hear the members' debate. I'm sure you'd like to hear it because you're going to have to vote on the issue. So I'd ask everybody under the eaves, visitors, sit down, take your seat, members, so that we can hear what's going on. Thank you very much. Go ahead, Ms. Flick. So currently, Deborah, there's, uh, there are signs in every single school zone, right? Every, there's always speed limit signs currently, so there's nothing really going to change there other than this legislation. No, no, you asked if there was any sort of warning. Right. And the warning is that it is a school zone, and therefore, maybe, maybe there'll be a camera, maybe not, but it would be a good thing to slow down. And if the uh, notion that one might uh, actually have, uh, in the absence of a patrol car ready to chase you, in the absence of that, the potential that there is a camera that might uh, identify your vehicle as having exceeded the speed limit, then maybe people will modify their behavior and be even more careful about how fast they're going when they're near a school. I don't disagree, but if it, uh, but if that goes back to my previous point. If you're really trying to modify behavior through monetary means, then you want to penalize them sort of as much as you can in a way, which would include the insurance. But that being said, you would agree, I think, that this is more about safety than revenue. I would think that would be your position. Yes. Right. So if it is more about safety, 
I've always found that as you're approaching one of those flashing lights and you look down and you 